everybody and today is the big reveal I think I featured I put a picture on Instagram uh, giving this big cliffhanger of just putting a picture of my um, new bag and I, I've actually featured it on Instagram but not I just put it in, in its cover and I showed it so I just hope you guys were able to figure it out it is my favorite store this is the designer store here the way you guys probably go to Neiman Marcus uh, etc. Um, this is the designer store here which has multiple of the popular brands. They have um, all kinds of brands. They've got Michael Kors, Burberry, Tory Burch, a um, couple of other a couple of other designers. I think I've seen Valentino dresses. Oh, correct? Yeah. And something like So it's um, available. So I picked up the bag from here. And let's have the big reveal. Which bag is it? They've got all these kinds of mixed up designers you find there. But then I went in there and I just fell in love. I just had a look at this particular bag. With what cover is this? Ta -da! This is probably one of uh, my favorite bags that I've ever picked up. I'll tell you the reasons quickly. But before that, um, this is the first time I've actually removed it after picking it up from the store. So excited love it i hope you guys think it's amazing and here let's have a quick look on it because you can see the tag the burberry tag is still here it's got the gorgeous burberry logo what i realized is instead of spending money on multiple bags just pick up one or two of what you like. That would be my suggestion to all of you out there. Especially when I when I was in the US, we would go shopping and suddenly I would see, oh I love the DK in my bag. Oh I love the coach bag. Oh I love the Michael Coach bag. And it became this um, clutter in my closet. And so the past few years I think I the last bag that I featured was the Louis Vuitton which was my high-end one and this is the next high-end Burberry bag which I would like to feature. It's the Burberry black check um, tout bag it's called okay so have a look on the Burberry section the tout bag section and you should be able to find this you know I am all for the original Burberry the all complete stripe but I never liked that I found it too there were too many lines on it I don't like that much but this is the right balance for me it has this beautiful leather exterior if you guys can have a if you can have this look and this leather ex exterior here as well um, this the side has a classic Burberry ch uh, check that you can that we recognize Burberry with and um, you open it up it's got these if you have a look it's got these buckles which I love now my Louis Vuitton didn't have this and I remember complaining about that in my Louis Vuitton video um, but this particular uh, bag has buckles which you can actually fasten so you don't have to worry about anything falling out so and I think this is easier than a zipper because you know a zipper you kind of just always are busy zipping it up zipping it and so on and so forth in other bags I always have that issue so with this I love this because it just it's one in one particular uh, press you can see it's closed um, then if you look inside we have another buckle so this buckle is in the center it actually closes off all your stuff it helps it in that. I haven't put anything as you know, I, I just literally bought the bag and waited to kind of reveal it to you guys. I haven't used it. Uh, it's completely blank inside which is again my thing. I'm not for zippers. Sorry guys, if you love multiple zippers, this might not be your bag. But this bag has one zipper. You know, the, the side one, you can see. Let me just have a, let me just remove this buckle. So this is the zipper, the classic one zipper that, you know, every, the bags generally have. And then if you see we have the Burberry logo inside and what else do we have? There are two pockets where you can actually put your mobile phone or your iPod etc which I generally do. So 
so I will be using that first. So this is one, this is, it's all really black, so I hope you can see this. One pouch here and second pouch here. So that's the other um, two features and it's absolutely empty, which I love. And I know people love to get compartmentalize their bags, but really, do you really need to carry so many different things that you need to compartmentalize it? I don't really think so. so this is the overall look of the Burberry Black Check Tub Bag. And what I loved, I uh, loved, loved, loved about the bag to pick it up. Let me tell you my reasons. Reason number one, it's extremely light. So if you can see, I'm actually bouncing it. It's not at all heavy. Uh, the other Burberry bag, which is of course the high end, again, it's another tout bag, but it's the expensive one. It's a bit bigger and it's a bit squarish. Um, so it actually looks like one of my other bags, my Michael Kors bags. So I didn't want that look and it was really heavy. So it was like complete leather and really heavy and I didn't want that. So even the store girl was quite helpful. Um, I just tried on both the bags and she was telling me the same thing. So that looks really, it looks more bulky because second thing I loved is the, like I mentioned, the button, buckle, whatever you like to call it, this particular uh, magnetic button which I loved because it's just so easy to put so you just need to stick this and then you just walk around you don't need to worry about anything coming out for the third thing is the space so if you can see it's really got this gorgeous um, amount of space inside which I can put a lot of things in it which is what I love about it again okay oh I didn't show you the bottom so it's got the four stouts as well okay that's nice then the fourth thing is the handles are not too long I don't like long strappy handles. It has the option of adjustable straps, as you can see. However, I found this to be the right length for me. I don't want to make it too long or too short, but you can shorten it or lengthen it depending on your requirements. It Burberry has given you that option here. The other thing, obviously, the signature black. Uh, I don't, surprisingly, don't have a lot of black handbags except my mango, which I had bought a long time back. So I was really looking forward to a nice black bag. Um, so it's got the black element to it I think this particular bag also comes in white and light pink is what I've seen I think that they might be more colors I'm not too sure please check out the Burberry website the last but not least I think like I mentioned less number of zippers so I think overall this is my favorite bag and I think I'm done with buying bags for a while now because this has been my big huge splurge um, but I absolutely love this bag I think it's so very gorgeous right what do you guys think? I'd love to hear your comments. So this was my review. Um, I was quite tempted to pick up another Louis Vuitton bag. Um, so what happened was we were in the city, we were kind of roaming and sightseeing and shopping. And then I was um, near the Louis Vuitton showroom and I was like, okay, let me have a look. But they say things happen for a reason and it, ha it so happened that the store was full and they were having a lot of customers and there was some wait time, which never happened before to me at least. But I was like, okay, I'm not gonna wait around, that's not gonna happen. So I left. And then I realized that, um, you know, some things happen for a reason, they say, and uh, it's true because I was destined to get this one. So, and I, and I feel so happy about it because I wouldn't have wanted to buy anything else. So I'm, I'm really excited about this bag and I hope you guys love the review. Take care and see you soon. Bye.